the 90s called, and they want their fragrance back. Because some might consider it a little outdated. Azaro Chrome. This fragrance was launched in 1996, but should you be wearing it in 2023? Well, let's go over the presentation. If you haven't seen this fragrance in a department store, you've probably been living under a rock. But don't worry, if you haven't seen it, you've definitely smelled it because this is a very popular, cheap, affordable fragrance. This fragrance was made in France in 1996 and it was perfumed by Gerard Hari. The box is very straightforward and simple. You get kind of that patterning here. Same pattern, different color than the cap. Azaro Chrome and then just like 100 milliliters uh, vaporizer spray, whatever. On the side it says, life is a celebration. Step into the light and enjoy the moment. It's your time to shine. Kind of a cool little mission statement. On the back you're just getting some ingredients, yada yada yada. And then on the bottom you're getting your batch code. What is my batch code? Because I know you're gonna ask. ABW43EN. Who cares about a box though? Let's talk about the fragrance. This is the 100 milliliter size. I got the 100 milliliter because this is one that you can just spray on all the time. The cap is very cheap looking, obviously, but it does do this little spinning thing. That's pretty cool, right? It's also very sharp around the edges, so if you want, you could probably hit someone over the head with this thing and it would definitely leave some damage there because it's actually really sharp. It has this nice design on the top of the cap. On the front, it says Chrome Azaro, and then on the bottom, batch codes and information there. Juice is a bluish color. The atomizer, I think it's pretty good. You know, which brings me to talking about the scent profile. What does this smell like? On the top, you're getting lemon, rosemary, bergamot, neroli, and pineapple with mid notes of jasmine, oak moss, cyclamen, and coriander. And base notes of musk, oak moss, cedar, sandalwood, cardamom, Brazilian rosewood, and tonka bean. What are you actually smelling when you smell this? Picture this as a kind of expensive shower gel mixed with some metallic notes, if that makes sense. Metallic notes, chrome. You know, the notes that I'm picking up the most of here is this bright citrus off of the top, but I'm also getting this herbaceous feel with this rosemary. There is a little bit of floral aspects to this. I'm picking up a lot of that neroli, which adds this like soapy feel to it. There is also a little heavy dose of woodsy notes and the oak moss, which gives it this like inky feel to it. You have smelt this fragrance before. It's a very, very popular fragrance. If you were to start a fragrance collection, you're probably gonna start with this fragrance. You're getting a little bit of a synthetic vibe off the top. You don't expect anything high quality or expensive smelling with Azaro Chrome, trust me. And it does not smell natural. I think this fragrance is good for spring and summer and daytimes. It's fresh and clean and uplifting. This could be worn from anything casual to anything sporty and in between office. You just hop out of the shower, you spray this on, you smell fresher. Pretty much anyone can get away with this. The 25 plus crowd would appreciate this a little bit more. It's not too playful. It's not too youthful. You're just going to smell clean. And sometimes that's all it takes to get a compliment. Typically when I I wear this, I am a five to seven spray kind of guy. But let's talk about the performance. Longevity is actually quite decent. I think that the longevity is being reinforced by some of the synthetics in here. It's not gonna fade off your skin quick. With that being said, I was getting around five to six hours, but sometimes I would get upwards of like 10 hours. This has a very, very mixed performance for me. I literally sprayed this on a couple hours before bed. I could still kind of smell it radiating off of me when I was making breakfast the next morning. Other times it doesn't last that long, but still it does open up kind of loud. It takes about 30 minutes for it to get into the comfortable, fresh vibe, you know? It starts off a little bit harsh, especially with some of those citric notes in there. The projection is not too far on this. I'm gonna say it's like about a foot and a half, which is actually pretty good, but it does leave a little bit of a stronger sillage. When you walk by people, they're gonna smell this like a trail behind you. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a call. So like I was saying, <laughs> before that person rudely interrupted me, how dare they call me? No one's gonna be offended by a fragrance like this. Now, what is the price point? I've paid around $35 USD for the 100 milliliter bottle, but you can find this in a lot of rack stores. So don't go pay full retail price for this. Retail price is like $107 Canadian. Don't do that. Go to your local like TJ Maxx, Ross's, Burlington, or whatever it's called, Marshall's. You're gonna find this there. Before I give this a ranking out of 10, do I think you should be wearing this in 2023? I think that this is a very, very good beginner's entry level fragrance that is inoffensive and pretty much everyone's gonna like it. But if you don't like the smell of metallic water and something that can smell a little bit dated, don't be going with this. But I think that this is an amazing fragrance that pretty much everyone needs in their collection. With that being said, I'm gonna give Azaro Chrome a 7.2 out of 10. It's not the highest quality fragrance that you're gonna buy, but it just works. Have you worn Azaro Chrome? Have you tried this fragrance? Let me know in the comments below. Spray that like button and subscribe if you like fragrances. And watch this video right here where I go over another cheapie that is very good for the summer. Thanks for watching and I love you all.